and I take it you wanted to stop by your house. I don't actually have a map of your house, so we can just. That's uh, fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, actually, what I prefer, because Pearson and Killamore would like to keep this private, is have them wait a couple blocks away, mm -hmm. have, point them in the direction they want to go, and say I'll meet up with them in the streets once I have a new shirt. I'll know enough shortcuts. I think I'd be able to meet up with them relatively quickly before we reach the church. Because I don't honestly, these are fine folks, I guess, but I want less people to know about where I live than possible. Fair All right. enough. <laughs> That's fine. I'll stand in place in the corner that you left me a few blocks at. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, but we can continue on. All right, uh, then what we'll do is uh, we are going to, you guys continue traveling, um, hang on, going back to the town. So you guys are going to write, if you look at the bottom left corner, you will see uh, where I'm clicking. Yes. That is the church. You guys are going to head that direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you guys get in front of the church, uh, you see that there is a group of about, oh, five, six thugs is basically the only way to look at, at them uh, standing around the church. And they're kind of just leaning up against the front wall, not really doing much, not really bothering with time of day. Um, okay. And all of a sudden, Inferno, yes. you recognize one of them. All right. His name is Neelix. Okay. And you recognize that he used to be a member of the same gang you were a member of. What? That is interesting. Uh, some some time ago, obviously, before time ago. you know, things uh -huh. happened. Um, uh -huh. And he looks up when you guys are walking towards, and he sits there and he goes, "Well, well, well, boys, look what we have here." And you notice that one of the younger thugs kind of just runs off in a different direction. And now, Pearson, you know well enough to know mm. that that generally means several things. It means uh -huh. that he's going to tell someone something. Now, if it means that he's going to tell someone just that you're there, or uh -huh. if something... You don't know, but you do know you that... Get back up something. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and he goes, well, what do we owe the pleasure to? The mighty bone splitter. <laughs> just trying to make some coin, Helix. You can't fault me for that. Well, Can I didn't you? expect to see the, and he turns around to his friends, the high and mighty Pearson making coin with the likes of us again. Well, what can you, oh, no, I'm not with you. It's not the likes of you that I'm with at all. This is an independent racket. I'm not a street thug anymore. I rose above your filth. He, uh, he looks at your party and goes, yeah, sure. So tell you what. Before you get any ideas, I suggest you send another one of your little runners up to the central bridge and see our handiwork, and then you can decide whether you want to join them or whether you want to just let us through so we can talk to... It was Frederick, right? Uh, no, Neelix. Oh, Frederick, yes, no, Frederick, no. Frederick, yes. is the one. So we can just talk with Frederick, huh? How about that? Uh, uh, Neelix holds up his hands. Whoa, whoa, big guy. I am not here looking for a fight. I'm oh, just here good. watching the door. You got business with old Freddy, by all means. And he just kind of motions you in. Have fun. Okay. Fair enough. One thing's bothering me, though, Neelix. How the hell did you end up leaving the Stonebridge Kings? Well, <laughs> I guess there wasn't really much left of a gang when uh, things were finished. You joined up with another one, or are you an independent operator as well? Last time I checked, Frederick didn't ha wear gang colors. <laughs> A lot of things have changed. Frederick has a new, uh, oh, what would you call him? Patron? And, uh, you know, there have been threats, some people causing some problems. Frederick thought maybe he could use some deterrence. So, my gang was called. And he spreads his arms out wide. I don't leave my family. Yeah, you just watch your family die around you. Before I leave, what's the name of your uh, of your little gang there? Ah, uh, you know, Pearson. Hmm? I think I forgot. You forgot your. Oh, you're gonna be a great leader someday. And then I'm gonna pass on by. 
All right. Keep an eye out, though. I'm going to keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't have anything hidden, hidden so he doesn't strike out against any of the folks that I'm with. Um, no, they, they all seem pretty, uh, pretty to stand there. Uh, one of the thugs actually uh, winks and cat whistles at Finn. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> obviously <no>. mistaken. <laughs> obviously mistaken him. <laughs> but other than that, they make no moves to stop you. Fair enough. All right, so you guys, uh, I assume everyone moves into the church, yes? Yep. I'll follow. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I'll trail behind Blast, you know. Oh. Tap my uh, tap my bamboo staff against the, uh, or darkwood staff, excuse me, against the, the pavement, emit a sickly green light from the top of the staff, and then walk on with the rest of the procession. So you guys uh, move into the church, and... Uh, mm-hmm. Basically, what you see is a very old, run-down church. Um, there's mm-hmm. obviously several pews and uh, an altar at the front. Um, it, you can see cracks in the floor. It's definitely not a, uh, a rich church by any means, shape, or form. Um, there are not many people there. It's late at night, so you wouldn't expect too many. Just uh, honestly, the only people that are there are uh, is Fredericks, who uh, Pearson. Inferno, you recognize pretty handily. Yeah. Um, and uh, you guys are going to have to forgive, actually, yeah, forgive the weapons. These aren't weapons. Okay. These are just tokens. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Pay no attention to the tokens behind Well, them, because yeah. Fredericks, he actually dresses rather fancily. Yeah, it's all good. Um, but, so, he, he, he actually likes to wear wide brim hats and and okay. very a lot of plumage, and he likes to, you know, look like a well-to-do gentleman. But the thing is, his fashion sense is a little off. It just makes him look strange, but he thinks he's the top of the town. Oh, fair enough. Um, so we'll come forward. Uh, I'll... Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. I was going to say, um, you oh, also sorry, notice yeah. there are two other people. I'm sorry, oh, okay. three other people. My bad. Yeah. Uh, in the church, it seems to be, from what you can tell, a family. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Let me see if I can actually find a family token. You can... The entire family. Uh, well, it's it's it looks like okay. There's a there's a, a man, a woman, and a little child. So, okay. You know what? I am just going to. I don't need a family token. We we know they're there. Yeah. Okay. So the the family token is there. If I decide we need them, I I will use them. But anyway, they are over here. Uh, they seem to be sitting, and they seem to be praying. Other than that, it is completely empty. Okay. Um, it's a little strange that a family is praying so late at night, but um, there's not really much I can do about it. We're kind of here for business, and we're not here for them. So I'll take up a seat beside Frederick, and I'll suggest to the others to sit in the pew in front of him, uh, we don't want to put it behind him because we don't want to feel like we're trying to intimidate the guy. We want to do business with him. So I'll recommend that they sit in the uh, the pews in front. Uh, when you sit down to in, next to uh, Frederick, he <laughs> jumps very startled and looks at you and goes, <laughs> Pearson, uh, uh, what are you doing here? And this is immediately different. This is a, a person that you are used to in all your past dealings to have a lot yeah. of swagger and confidence mm-hmm. and act mm-hmm. like he knows what's going on. And he looks completely disheveled and almost frightened, but definitely startled. Okay. Uh, let me say, I'm here for business, Frederick. Is everything okay? Business? Oh, I mean, of course, of course, business. Everything's, everything's fine. Pearson, how you, yeah. how you been? Okay, all right. You can. I've been well. I've been well. Just trying to make some money. I have uh, some friends here, some new friends. They've hired me as a middleman since I know the streets, and they're looking for something very, very uh, in particular. We think that you might have been able to come across it, but a man of your talents. I think we'll be able to figure it out. After all, you can procure quite a he few things. He shakes his head. He's no. like, you want the stones too. I'll tell you like I tell everyone. I ran out. I don't have any more. I can only sell what's in my possession. They're not in my possession. Well, if they're not in your possession, then why are you so worried? <laughs> 
And he looks at, around and he looks at you and he says, You don't know what I've been going through to get rid of those stones, Pearson. If you want my advice, just walk away. <sighs> I can't do that. Well, at least not just yet. Unless... Well, no, never mind. It's a strange thought. But where did who did you sell them to? Maybe I can get them through them. Frederick looks around and then looks at you and says, <laughs> This isn't worth it. Ah, fine. You want the stones? Here. And he actually throws you like a book that he carries with him. Uh, it's about okay. mm, the size of a hand. It's not a huge book, but inside it's got pages with lots of handwriting on it. And he goes, there's my ledger. There's where my goods go and who I sold them to. Have fun. And then he just gets up and he starts to walk away. Okay. I'm going to get we... on top of here. Uh, I'm going to no, no, join no. you. Okay, you have to get down. Something stinks here. This is either an ambush or something. We got to get out of here now. Yeah, I'm looking for down. a chandelier. <laughs> and this, as uh -huh. soon you know as Fredericks leaves the door, you hear a thunk on the door. They locked us in. All right. Uh, let's look sure? at this family. The yeah, that's what that thunk was. You sure? Finn's I'm worried about this family. Uh, why would they? I understand they're locking us in, but why would they lock lock in this family? Finn, uh, when you get towards the door, you hear from the outside, Frederick going, "Please, I just, I don't want anything more to do with them." And then you hear Neelix say, "Oh, isn't that uh, convenient? Because we don't want you to have anything more to do with them either." And then you hear a slice and a gurgle. And that's it. I'm going to walk back to the front of the ship. <laughs> Is just... there a chandelier? No chandeliers. All right. Uh, squee. What mm -hmm. are these? What are what? Those are statues. I have a request. What are the size of the statues? Uh, real quick. Yes, Grim. No, no, no. Oh. Resolve this uh, first. Statues are uh, bigger than human size. You would not be able to lift them. They're very large stone statues that go almost to the ceiling. Yes, Grim. I don't have much interest in staying inside a church and possibly be burned inside of it. Uh, from page 147 of my class features, I have the cantrip known as Knock. This cantrip summons a magical servitor three to four times as big as your closed fist that swarms around the door and punches it open, mm -hmm. assuming you can succeed with an intelligence check against the environment's DC using an appropriate magical background, which I have. I would like to use Knock upon this door. By all means. Oh, 1d10 plus... <laughs> well, uh, the, 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 the environment to DC is actually probably, uh, I'm actually had to knock this motherfucker again because the, the, the <laughs> hand that, like, swarms, like, the force that swarms it open, that's gonna be like a... Uh, Jared's gonna, like, you look accusingly at the fairy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Mika's gonna look at him so and just go, with... What? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I when, stick oh, the yes, you are correct. Yeah. I uh, I did make a mistake. I rolled a one d one d ten instead of a one d twenty. Yes, you did. Why don't you go ahead and? Okay. There we go. Uh, that is more than enough. You actually, uh, your spell actually blows both doors open. Uh, we're we're gonna say that was like a warm up thing. Like, <laughs> fairy, gotta adjust a bit, Um, <laughs> how 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 close are you to the door? I'm standing, like basically, like from the first pew. Okay. It, like, I'm currently positioned with my token. What you see in the doors when they burst open is a crowd of what look like thugs with Neelix at the front. And from what you can see from there, there are at least 30 people. But they stretch on either side of your field of view. And from the noise, it looks like there's more than that. Close the door. Close the door. Close the and door. And Neelix yeah. is like, the, oh, door, so door. you're going to come out to close us. Close the door. Ben, no, never... no, it it's it's not possible. I kind of burst the doors open with close the magical it. force. Use of magic the to close it then. I don't care. Close the door. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Uh, the doors, uh, well, the, the doors. The thing is, the doors are still on their hinges. You could still close, close the them. Close the door, you just close kind of uh, actually, all it would do is break the the wooden beam they had over the doors on the outside. So if you could find okay. a way to seal the doors again, they're still there. They're still intact. Finn's gonna attempt to close the doors then in some way, shape, form. <laughs> um, uh, Cole, help me. Cole is going to be dragging the pews in front uh, of the door. And while they're doing that, Neelix, yeah, Neelix who appears to be in no hurry, time. goes, Oh, no, I thought we were going to be friends. Okay, hold up a second. <laughs> <laughs> I have just a few questions. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, first of all, during this, especially the door opening, Pearson is putting the ledger inside his pack. Okay. All right. That's safe and sound. Secondly... What are the windows like in this place? How far up are they, and are they made of glass? The windows uh, start at about uh, chest level. Uh -huh. uh, maybe, let's say chest level for Finn. Maybe abdomen level for, for everyone else. Um, uh -huh. They are made of stained glass, though they look very old. Um, mm -hmm. So it does look like someone, if they wanted to, could probably break through them. Okay. Great. My suggestion is, or what I would like to do, is when Finn closes the door, I would like to, I have a couple flasks of lamp oil. I would like to pour that lamp oil at the entrance of the church behind the closed doors. And while, since Neelix doesn't look like there's much time while everyone's doing a bunch of other stuff, I'm going to try to light one of my torches with a flint and tinder, saying, we might have to go out the windows. Because we can't handle 30 of them. All right. Back or front? Uh, looks towards family. Yes, it, I'm, it, uh, it, this family is now represented by a child. It, it's definitely going to take some time for you to not only close the doors, but drag the pew in front of it oh, while um, they're all looking uh, Neelix in. doesn't appear, nor do the people outside, do not appear to be in any hurry, so... Um, you oh, can't. You have all the time in the world to drag the pew over there. <laughs> in that case, you know, after Jarek had like his, you know, like a misfire, and then actually gets. <laughs> and while you're doing this, you hear from outside. You hear Neilus go, "You know, when I was hired to murder any suspicious-looking people that came to talk to Freddy, never in a thousand years did I dream it would be you, Pearson. But." Man, it looks like it's my lucky day. What are you guys gonna do? Go out the window? Yeah. Take a look. Um. Okay. Window. Finn, you take a look at the window and you see that the line of people is actually stretching pretty much all the oh, way around shit. the church. Oh shit! Oh god! Okay. Okay. okay I'm oh. panicking. I am panicking. I'm. There are several out. torches Calm down. Calm down. and uh, okay. weapons, and they look. Uh, they're just patiently waiting. All right, I'm going to stop pouring the flask of lamp oil. It's useless. And I'm going to say, okay, Neelix, how about we give you what you want? You want to kill me, right? Well, are we probably one of the last two stone bridge, ki stone bridge kings standing? Neelix laughs from outside. <laughs> that? Oh, I don't care about that anymore. I care about money. And the money only becomes... If you all die. But by all means, please, grovel. I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh, no. It's not groveling. I just figure that maybe you had a little bit of honor left in you. Hey, beard maybe guy, you beard guy. piss it all out when you left yes. the kings Church, after I Churches left always the have, like, a hidden button. <laughs> Look for a hidden so, button. Uh, Finn, so you do about... see a stairwell that's leading downwards. Okay, okay, better than a button. Guys, over here. Uh, Neelix goes, honor. <laughs> really, Pearson? What in the world has that bitch done to you? Okay, fine. You don't want to fight one on one? That's too bad. I'll just have to break your face another day. Ooh. Case. Case. One. Well, I'm going to give you guys, oh, well, let's say. And he stops and thinks for a second. Is it a minute? A minute. I don't like this waiting. <laughs> and we're coming in. Oh. Oh, you're coming out. I suggest you make this easy. And by the way, this family, they are huddled on the pew. They have no idea what's going on. One of them, the father, looks up and very gently goes, What do we do? Uh, uh, come, come with us. Uh, there, there's stairways over here. You two back there. Come on. Come on, move. 
Listen, where's the stairway going to take us? To a basement? I don't basement? know. It's better than here. I'm going to go check. <laughs> Thank you, Cole. Fairy, can you do anything about to. this? Mika looks around and says, what, flap my wings at them? No. Use your magic. Get us the hell out of here. And, and Mika goes, look, I've got some magical talent, but I can't teleport people. <sighs> Garrick looks at uh, Colomore. We send that fire, Colomore. Yeah, we're going to set the fire. All right. Um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. Piff, you're going to go check downstairs? Yep. So, right. so am I. I'm going to show you guys what you see down there. You see, uh, like what Pearson said, a basement with two torches on either wall, a few tables, a couple of chests, and uh, a grating that looks like it empties down into the sewers or something like that. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to immediately go up, go up, and motion to go downstairs. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, all right. Grab the take family. them with you. Go, okay. oh, go ahead. Uh, and the, the, the child looks at you and shakes her head, and, and the mom and, and the dad looks at him and goes, I'm sorry, they're, they're mute. They, they don't speak. Uh, go, go. And he kind of pushes them ahead of him and goes with Finn. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, I guess it's a, just come on. Jarek will uh, look at Colmore and say, I can set the fire. There's no need for a torch. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put the torch away and be like... I'm glad you're with us. And start heading towards the, um, start heading towards the store the stairs while he lights up the fire. At least I'll slow once, him down a bit. Once I see everyone's moving, I am going to quickly uh, check if the chests. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna take one of the chests and try to slam it as hard as I can downwards at the vent. You wouldn't even. Uh, okay, uh, downward at the vent. Let's. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, roll a roll a d20. Add your strength and your background, because you throw things for a living. Um. So strength and background. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, there, D20. Okay. Um, the chest completely shatters since it's a fairly old chest, and you see um several gold coins kind of splay everywhere, but it most certainly takes the, the force of the impact, not only obliterating the chest, but also uh, causes the grate to go crashing down, and you hear it splash into some sort of water, maybe 10 feet below. Okay. Um, I'm going to probably arm the other chest, and then probably just leap down. Mm. Okay. Arm the other chest? You mean, like, pick it up and get ready? Um, as in, pick up the other chest, tuck it under my arm, and jump down. Got it, got it. Um, okay, uh, who, who is, who is in the basement? Actually, I guess I'm heading towards, towards the, the basement, basement, but I'm gonna just wait till I've taken too much time already. I'll let you guys resolve what you're doing first. Um, well, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip moving tokens to the basement part if you guys are okay. just gonna walk through. Um, yeah, my plan is as I'm heading to the basement, I'm gonna uncork my second flask of lantern. Is the Are the stairs made of wood or stone? Uh, stone. Well, it'll light up for a little while. Let's, uh, I'm gonna pour some lantern oil on the stairs as well. Alright, uh, Piff, also, I should point out, you land in Almost complete darkness. A little bit of light from the torches above you shine down on you, but you can't see five feet in front of you. I will feel the way of the water if there is any motion. Oh, yeah. there. Well, uh, motion? Yes, there is some motion to the water. Not much. It's very slow, but you can kind of feel it. Um, so... You are setting fire to the stone, I'm assuming, after everyone moves, yes? Yeah, I'm waiting for Jarek to come on down as well okay. after he's done lighting the fire at the front. I just want to prepare it for him. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to... Uh, hang on, I'm moving everyone's token to the place you Basically. are traveling to. I'm also going to brace myself for Finn probably dropping down. Do I... Am I still, like, leading the, the 
family. Who's all? Who yes, am I yeah, yeah. Uh, the family's kind of following you like coattails. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I guess, just usher them to jump in the hole. <laughs> Uh, they're gonna, the, the dad's gonna look at you a little strange, and the, the child and the mom keep looking at you and shaking their heads violently, but they're not saying anything. I'm, I'm just shaking my head up and down like, yes, come on, we don't have, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I would put, input something, but I'm too busy pouring lantern oil, so. Uh, okay. You can uh, see sort of the, the tip of my hand maybe be somewhere around the, the mouth of where the grate is. All right, uh, kind of the, the dad looks around uh, and, and basically says, okay, and he starts gently lowering his daughter down to the waiting hands. All right, I'll try to put it on the, the sides where it's shallowest. Uh, yeah, it's only like it's only a 10-foot drop, so honestly it shouldn't be that hard for them to, to reach down and you to reach up, and there should mm -hmm. not be any real problem with that. No, um, to, to put down people, because I'm still straddling. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, you, you, from what you can tell, there's nothing really around you with an arm range. It seems like flat. You're kind of in water. You can get out of the water very easily, and you feel kind of like pavement underneath you. Then I'll be putting people there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, am I done doing my lantern oil thing? Yeah. Okay, I'd like to grab both the torches from the wall and toss one to Kane. Or is it All Ken? Right. How do I pronounce it, Burn? Keen. Keen. Ta I'll pass one to Keen. All hmm. right, and about this time, you start hearing um, the door slam open. I am still up there. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, where are yeah. you up there? I'm still standing in my same spot. I haven't moved yet. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, what have yeah. you been doing this whole time? Well, let's see here. There was going to be a ghost sound, mm -hmm. which I was going to wait for everyone to finish talking and gabbing before I execute it. It's also <laughs> on the same page as the cantrips. The false sound, which is a very exceptionally good version of rolling my voice, is going to be the sound... <laughs> And that's just going to emit from several different sources and pitch and volume from his side of the door. Holy shit. <laughs> Yay! Uh, and you hear mummers, murmurs outside, and you hear Neelis going, Oh, grow some backbone! It's just some sort of trick. Right. The, uh, the, uh, the sort of attempted distraction to the cantrip are DC 15 and challenge environments, uh, with higher up, with any sort of positive modifiers, so just a roll to see how good the thing is. There. Pretty, Pretty good. damn good, yeah. Uh, you hear a lot of murmurs of discontent. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, with the other, another cantrip, I'm going to use Spark, which allows me to, like, basically, like, create, like, minor fires using available fuel, and do that on the lamp oil in front of the door, and then head down the staircase with the others. Okay. Um, then, as you head down the staircase, you do see them, uh, as you start to duck down, you uh, see that they're actually, Neel uh, Neelix is having trouble kind of whipping people into shape. The last thing you see is him going, get in there! And that's... Yes, through the fire, see. dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think Neelix seems to care too much about his... Uh, no, Neelix yeah. is kind of an asshole. On his employees. <laughs> I can't wait to kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, um, now, who has the torches? Uh, myself and Keen. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And uh, I do not need a light source. I am a light source with my staff. All right. Um, how Does it say how many feet your light goes? Uh, you're asking for too much detail from 13th age. That's true. Okay, I'll say, I'll say you know what, I'll, I will give you the same amount of light. A fairly that the wide and consistent field of light up to 30 feet in diameter. All right. Only my light. It's a sickly green glow. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look I don't me. think I roll light. 20 is quite that sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> that I'd specify, you know, it's important. All right. Um, there we go. Welcome to Cantrips, motherfuckers. I like them. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. They're fantastic. Yeah, I do. I, 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 that's one thing I do really like about the cantrips is that, like, and like they said, it makes you useful far and beyond your just spells. Combat ability. I'm a magic yeah. man. All right. So I think this should be working. Okay. So we are good to go. So you guys, as you can see uh, in the torchlight and in Jarek's light, 
uh, you see the, it looks like a very old sewer. It is made out of pavement, out of stone, so it was very well built, but it was very well built a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And you see right in the middle, about five feet across, is a small stream. It's kind of dug into the stone um, of just nasty water. Ugh. And hmm. all around you, there's some falling stones. There's decaying walls. It it seems to be kind of crumbling. It even it was very well built, but it's not in great repair. And uh, that's where you guys are. The fire and panic I generated should have bought us enough time, but they will eventually follow. 